Ford LX. This car is royal blue pearl. It's a great day to see this car because the sun is out. You can see the beautiful metallic and dark blue paint on this car. The only problem with today is it's a little bit windy. <laughs> so hopefully you can hear everything I'm going to say, but look at this car in the sun. The paint and body are in beautiful condition. Look, look how pretty that is in the sun there. This is a one owner Honda Accord. This car has very good miles for its age. 182,000 miles, very, very reasonable for a 2006 that calculates out to about 12,000 miles per year. So pretty, pretty much on the low side for the year. And this car has been extremely well cared for. Uh, dealer documented service history from new until current 90% of the work that's been done to this car has been done at the dealership with some of the more recent work being done in an independent repair facility oh now it's gonna be shady so you can see the paint in the shade uh, just here recently um, this car had brand new tires these Toyo tires here that are brand new along with the hubcaps. These are genuine Honda hubcaps that are brand, brand new to the car. Uh, they're original hubcaps, not aftermarket garbage. These are these are brand new Honda hubcaps with brand new tires. Also, uh, just here recently, along with the new tires, had a new battery, a new starter, a new oil pan. Not the oil pan gasket, but the complete oil pan assembly was replaced. Also a brand new hubcap and tire right here. So new oil pan, new laser iridium spark plugs. Uh, just had an oil change very, very recently. And also just had some exhaust work. Had the flex pipe and the catalytic converter replaced. Common to rust out over time and go bad. And they are now brand, brand new. So tires, battery, starter, oil pan spark plugs, laser iridium spark plugs, oil change, new flex pipe, new catalytic converter, all new very, very recently. Uh, currently, the front brakes have about 70% life remaining. Rear brakes have 60% life remaining. Um, some other service notes real quick before we look under the hood and inside the rest of the car. In the last couple years, this Accord has had a new alternator, new serpentine belt, new oxygen sensors, new front sway bar links, uh, both front control arms with ball joints, air and cabin filters replaced, oil pressure switch replaced, uh, coolant flushed, transmission fluid flushed. <laughs> so this car has had other regular maintenance and services throughout its lifetime. That's all documented. Um, very, very, very well cared for and shouldn't need a thing for a good long time. Let's take a look under the hood and then go through the interior. This would make an excellent car for a first time driver. It's easy to drive, it's easy to see out of, easy to park, and gets great gas mileage. And with all of the recent maintenance, truly shouldn't need to spend much money at all to keep this car going for many, many more miles. sounds and runs like a Honda should, like a little sewing machine, tap, 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 tap. It drives perfectly. I will make a separate video of me driving this car, so take a look at that on my channel here as well. Um, separate video of me driving it, which is nothing but excellent. It runs and drives perfectly. Everything works like it should on the car. All of the features and functions and buttons and switches, air conditioning, there's the new battery, there's the newer alternator. Original hood, as you see with the, this is the VIN sticker. Hondas have these stickers on most of their body panels. So if this hood had ever been replaced, it most likely would not have that sticker. So that's an easy way to tell that it's the original hood. Even the hood pad, this insulating pad, is in very good condition. Uh, 
All right, let's take a look at the rest of the car. Even has the original pinstripe. It's got a Honda emblem back here on the back quarter panel. Right there, kind of neat. It's probably uh, installed when the car was new. Look at the look at the paint and the sun. Now that the sun's back out. Very, very pretty. Paint's in beautiful condition, nice and smooth. Alright, so inside is equally nice. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Carpets and floors are in great shape, nice and clean. A non-smoker vehicle indeed, never been smoked in. Driver's side seat and bolster is nice and firm. Headliner is nice and clean. <clears throat> Get out of the wind for a second. Steering wheel is very nice. There's nothing abnormally worn or anything weird. It's nice and clean, smooth to the touch. Cruise control buttons here. There's our exact mileage, 182, 943. Uh, currently a full tank of gas. Headlights, original radio. Um, nothing fancy, just everything works. Climate control stuff here. Uh, this is a storage compartment, big compartment there. Uh, not an ashtray, coin compartment. Power outlet right there. Couple cup holders. Uh, the fabric on this armrest right here is a little loose on this leading edge on the front, but uh, you know, it is what it is. A lot of these did that. Um, there's a upper section here with coin holder and then a lower box compartment with another power outlet inside right there. Um, all of the owner's manuals are in the glove box here. Some touch-up paint. Um, also has both original master keys, so another black key just like this with the keyless entry buttons on it and the valet key. So this car has all of its original keys. The owner's manuals, very, very nice. Uh, it does have side airbags in the front and the rear so here in the a pillar uh, here in the side of the seat and in the rear so definitely a safe car as well for a first time or young young driver there's rear side curtains right here in the back on the b pillar back seat is very very clean very nice hasn't had much use whatsoever Car has a clean Carfax report as well. That there is a pass through that you can open. Go like that to see, get through to the trunk so you can put a long object through there. You can also fold the back seat with this pole right here. Uh, this makes that whole opening the whole back of the seat fold forward <coughs> the trunk is spotless as you can see spare tire is here doesn't look like it's ever been used the tools are in the bag right there it's nice and clean down here and the jack is over here on the side label on the trunk uh, showing that this is an original trunk to the car. Same thing here on the rear bumper. <coughs> original rear bumper. Always better to be original. It means it hasn't been in any accidents and nothing's been replaced. Now, there's the 
there's the armrest and pass through there. <coughs> Very, very, very clean and nice car. Make a great car for someone for many years to come. Uh, we saw the car, we saw the inside, we saw the outside, we saw the trunk, we saw the engine, wheels, tires, talked about the service history. Uh, very safe, very economical, great gas mileage from this four cylinder. Oh, I did forget to say when we were under the hood, but you may know this if you're looking at this car, this is a timing chain engine. So Honda started using this engine in 2003, um, and it is a chain driven engine. So no need to replace a timing belt at any point because it's a chain. Uh, <clears throat> the six cylinder Honda Accord engine does have a belt, but this is the four cylinder and better fuel mileage. So all the better. Um, thanks for taking a look. And I uh, was also going to mention if you're so inclined and you'd like to see a neat story about a very high mileage Honda Accord it always comes to mind when I'm looking at a Honda like this with only 182,000 miles Google search Gordon Barse Gordon G-O-R-D-O-N last name Barse B-E-A-R like bear and then with two s's on the end B-E-A-R-S-S -S. Gordon Barse drove a 1986 Honda Accord to 615,000 miles and in 1993 at the 10th anniversary of the Honda manufacturing plant here in Ohio in Marysville they gave him a 1993 Honda Accord wagon and he came back with that 1993 Honda Accord wagon <clears throat> uh, 10 years later in like 2002 I believe I believe it was actually this current month November 2002 and the car had 1 million miles he was a courier for banks for canceled checks and other documents and it he racked up a hundred thousand miles a year times 10 years he put a million miles on the car it was still running super, super superbly and they offered to give him another Honda at the time and he uh, he, he he wasn't interested he kept that car it's a great story. If you, if you Google search those words, Gordon Bars Honda Accord, you will find it. There's a story published by the Lawrence uh, Journal uh, about him and, and uh, Honda uh, documenting his car with the mileage. But that's not the highest mileage car. If you Google search those words, you will find a list of the Million Mile Club cars. And there's a man who takes the cake as one Irv I think his last name is Gordon, actually. Irv Gordon with a Volvo, 1966 Volvo P1800 that has over 3 million miles currently. And he's the original owner of that car. So, neat stuff. This, this Accord is definitely a baby. Definitely has many more miles to go. Again, take a look at my separate video that I will show here of me driving this car. There's nothing but good things to say because it drives just as nice as it looks. Um, Watching. Thank you for taking a look. Um, feel free to reach out with any questions, uh, comments, concerns. Subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff and you like the way I present cars. I would appreciate that and I always welcome any suggestions or questions or comments or feedback. So again, this is Nathan. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've been able to hear everything with the crazy amount of wind that's going on today. But Nonetheless, thanks for taking a look at this Honda Accord with me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.